Hey, what's up guys it is end of day it's hot i'm ready to go home but i wanted to do a quick video and answer a couple of questions that we get a lot down here at tent hozilla a lot of guys want to know how what's the best way to set up my bay how do how do i set my bay up for the most efficient tenting um and also i get a question a lot too of how in the world do you do eight or nine cars a day well the eight or nine cars a day it's that's easy i, I can do 12 13 cars if i need to it's it just depends on what kind of cars they are, first of all, and uh, what kind of processing is going on that day. Um, but that there's a lot of skill involved. I've been tinting windows for 31 years. This year makes my 31st hard season into this thing. And uh, I can tint the mess out of pretty much anything that comes through the door and, and get it done pretty fast. But the biggest thing that enables that is this guy right here. This is what I call my shotgun bay. This is also a shotgun bay. This car is parked off center because it's not being worked on in this bay. It's only being parked there for now. So this is, uh, this is a shotgun bay. You can see that there are no peel boards off to each side of the car. There is only a peel board at the rear of the car. I've got the lights in the shop turned off. Um, we have overhead lighting that we turn on and use during the day. Um, one thing that helps a lot is the overhead extension cord. I'll put a, a link in the description to the video for these. I like to get this style uh, extension cord reel through Lowe's. Lowe's has been a better provider of these through the years for me than anybody else. It seems like everybody else's extension cord reel fail. They stop working for whatever reasons. But if you do an extension cord reel, you can keep your heat gun to where it's just gently landing on the floor. Um, and you can gently set it down no matter where you are. It's a lot easier to set your, your cord down by the gun like that. Um, so that, that makes a big difference. This gun is actually new. I just put it in, into action about, I'll say new, about six months ago. The one that was here before was here for three years, and I'm convinced that this is why. I'm convinced that having an overhead extension cord enabled longer life with my heat gun. Another thing that it enables, kind of wish I had a car sitting here now, but um, you can work on your back window back here and not have to worry about cord management. So you just eliminated quite a few steps in your process just by hanging your extension cord over your head if you have the ability to do so. Uh, if you can get your extension cord kind of over the rear window area and back a little bit, maybe kind of like over the rear bumper area of the car, um, I've got mine set to where the cord comes down basically right between the back bumper and my fuel board. That way it never does drop straight down onto a car. There's always some clearance back here. But if you can put it there, you'll find that you have freedom of movement all the way around the car, full, full circle, because you can take this extension cord and you can bring it right up here to the same length as you would need to be for your front windshield. And if you put rags along the way and a rag here at the end of it, you can easily drape this over the mirror of a car and still have plenty of, plenty of uh, cord there to work with your windshield. So, again, hang your extension cord from the ceiling like that. That's going to that's gonna enable faster movement, longer life on your heat guns, and uh, a few other benefits. Um, kegs. We have a keg off to one side over here and another one off to one side over here. Both have a hook on the peel board to hang the hose by. We do not hang this by the handles. Reason being is if I hang this by the handle, I have to come over here and specifically place this right there. I have to come over here and specifically put that right there in order for it to hang right there. Otherwise, I chance dropping it or having to fish this thing around through here like that or whatever. Hang it by the hose. Reason being is if I'm standing I'm, I'm what, this far away, even if I'm standing this far away, I can fling my hose up there and get it on there if I need to. And I can come back later as I'm walking by 
I can grab this hose and fling this trigger right up to my hand, one-handed, no problem. So, um, kegs to the right and left rear of the car with your hoses hanging on a hook. It's very important. Um, eliminate steps. Think about, think about the steps you're taking throughout the day on each and every car. And if you can, if you can't eliminate steps, make your steps the same on each car. And I think that's one thing that's kind of magic about having the fuel board back here at the rear of the car. This enables the same system of movement to all windows on all vehicles all day long. So it's just a constant movement. Doesn't matter to me what's in the bay. I'm doing the same thing to each car every day, all day long, and nothing is ever in my way. Um, everything is free moving. So another big thing is a creeper seat. You want a creeper seat that has five wheels on it, not four. I'll leave a link to these. These came from Amazon. I'll put a link to those in the description of the video. Um, they were like 40, 50 bucks, I think. Um, but get a creeper seat. Don't try to kneel or squat. Get a creeper seat. You're not gonna be called lazy. Ain't nobody gonna call you lazy. Us older guys are gonna call you smart. Get a creeper seat because as you're moving and working on this car, if we here we'll open up the car on this, we'll open up the door on this debt. If we were here working on this this debt and I needed to move back and forth, I can do so freely and I don't have to squat and re-squat and reposition and, and re regain my composure to stay on this edge or to, to stay anywhere else on this car. So get get the creeper seats to use around your shop. I like to keep two of them. I've got these, these are dedicated to the tent bay. There's one right here, and then there's another one over there somewhere. Our shops are wrecked, we've been busy. Um, but the creeper seats, uh, one on each side of the car, and that will enable smoother and more efficient movement and more efficient installation of your roll downs. So keep that in mind. Um, tools, let's go over some tools. Make sure you have dedicated tools for these processes. Here you see standard picks and pry bars and a bottle of alcohol that's not supposed to be there. Um, other sharpies and other tools that get used throughout the day. Magnetic tray. Get yourself a magnetic tray to keep all your stuff on um, and you'll keep everything in its place a lot better. These are all the sockets and different things that we use on uh, rear wipers and so forth. Um, drills speed up the process a lot. We have a drill that we use for insert bits and another one that we use for sockets. And then back window squeegees and so on. These tools are also available in that toolbox, another toolbox over there, and another one over there somewhere. We got toolboxes sitting all over the shop. Those tools belong right there, and I don't let them go anywhere but right there. Those are dedicated tools. Make sure you use dedicated tools in your shop. Um, set up a, uh, if you use a pouch, that's good. I don't like a pouch anymore because I started using a dish drainer to keep all my tools in. This is a dish drainer after a day's worth of work. Those are all the tools that I use. So, um... That's how I can, that's how I have my bait set up. Shotgun bait. Load them in, load them out. Load them in, load them out all day long. Nothing on the sides in the way. Um, keg to the left and, and right of the, of the rear of the car. Extension cord overhead. Hoses on hooks. Um, make sure you get a nice fuel board. Again, check with one of your glass shops. Go through a glass shop and find you a, a glass shower door or a shower wall panel that is not going to be used because of it being the wrong size or whatever and you'll be able to get your hands on that glass dirt cheap. I got this one for two, sitting two roll downs in a Jeep. So dirt cheap, the guy even brought it to me for that. So get yourself a relationship with a glass guy and that will get you a peel board in your shop that is very nice, very sturdy and is not going to break on you. We would have to really sling something hard at this thing to break it. So. Um, do that and you will enable faster movement in your shop. If you need help, 
getting any faster, give me a ring down at tentozilla.com. You can also reach our shop at 478-954-2379. You guys have an awesome day. See ya.